Hey everybody, this is Nori coming at you from the Work and Bipolar or Depression column at Healthy Place. Today I want to talk to you for a minute about sleep and working with bipolar disorder. Now, you've probably heard this countless times, how important proper sleep hygiene is for work and for life and health in general. So I'm not going to go too much into the ins and outs about why sleep is important. However, I do want to emphasize, as a person who lives with bipolar and works with bipolar, that when you live with this disorder, sleep takes on a whole new meaning. Everyone suffers if they don't get proper sleep. But when you have bipolar disorder, the natural up and down cycles that come with the illness get exacerbated if you don't have a steady circadian rhythm. A circadian rhythm being, you know, a consistent schedule throughout the day and a consistent sleep-wake cycle. Now, I recognize that sometimes keeping a consistent sleep schedule is easier said than done, especially right now when we're still in the middle of a global pandemic and everything's been thrown off scalp, off kelter, um, you know, and there's uh, mounting other challenges facing the world right now as well that are probably causing many of us to lose sleep at night. But as much as possible, it is absolutely critical that if you are living with bipolar disorder and you want to work well and live well with this disease, You've got to figure out how to keep your sleep-wake schedule from getting the best of you. I personally have always been a night owl since I was a little girl. Um, my mental activity tends to peak at night. And I found out that after I was diagnosed that nighttime is actually when I am the most susceptible to hypomania. So learning to adjust my own sleep-wake cycle to a more, you know, quote-unquote normal time frame was hard at first, but I knew I had to do it if I was going to function as an adult living in the world. And once I did take the initiative to improve my sleep hygiene, my moods improved as did my work performance and my relationships, everything all around. It, uh, it definitely put a pep in my step, so to speak. So what can you do in your day-to-day -day life to improve your sleep hygiene? Well, there's a couple of things. The first that I really want to emphasize is please, whatever you do, do not buy into the idea that you have to be exhausted in order to do a good job. It's not true, y'all. We live in a culture that prioritizes burnout and stress and being bone tired as signs of being productive or a hard worker. Please don't buy into that. Um, nothing is worth your health. Nothing is worth your sanity. So even though it's hard, don't let anyone, your employer, your career counselor, society at large, whoever, convince you that you have to be exhausted and you have to be sleep deprived. Please don't do that. The second thing um, is that take the time to try and develop a sleep schedule that works for you, that is realistic to your life and your current situation. Again, I know that things are up in the air because of COVID. Some of us, you know, have children we're trying to teach at home. Some of us have, you know, different obligations that make it hard, but um, as much as possible, try to keep to a consistent bedtime routine and sleep time each night and wake up time each day, even on the weekends. I know it sucks, but um, our bodies are very keenly aware of what we're doing and where and when we are when we're doing them. So having that consistent schedule and also making sure that your bedroom is a safe, quiet, restful place which means no phone in the bedroom, no work in the bedroom, no nothing like that. Um, more than anything else, that will help you wind down 
and it will make it easier for you to go to sleep and go to sleep at a consistent time. Um, like I said, it's difficult and it takes a lot of work and a lot of trial and error and some heavy adjustments, but I believe in you. You can do it and your work performance will improve and so will your symptoms in the long run. You know, I'm not a doctor, obviously. I can't promise you any kind of miracle cure, but from my own experience, um, I can say that improving my sleep hygiene has significantly improved my cycling and my symptoms alongside medication, of course. <laughs> so I hope that you found this helpful. Um, please take good care of yourselves out there. It's a hard time, but we'll get through it together and sleep well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.